Hi, Ryan Steinelson here with Accelerate Marketing. Today I want to talk to you about something that is just, to me, is just amazing because not even probably five or six months ago I was having to use a separate camera for my higher quality video shots. Well, now I'm using my, my iPhone and people have been doing this for a while now, but I mean, I finally just stepped up from the 3GS to the 4G, and it's just amazing the quality of, of picture and video that you can get with it. So right now, I'm actually recording this on my iPhone 4 with a lavalier mic, so you can get good quality audio from a distance, which is, you know, I'm probably about seven or eight feet away from the camera right now, but I'm able to still capture great audio. And the other thing is, is what's amazing, now you can use a tripod with your iPhone or your smartphone. And today I've got a couple of, and so really the, the problem that I'm addressing today, and this is the issue that I see with a lot of people, is they don't know how to base, to mount their iPhone or their smartphone to their tripod, or or use their, they don't even, a lot of people don't even know that you can actually put your iPhone or your smartphone on a tripod. And the advantage, actually, of being able to do that is, is that you get much more stable pictures. And the other thing is, or videos too, is that the other thing that's amazing about it is, is that you can, well, you can do what I'm doing right now. There's nobody that's that's here videotaping me. I'm, I just put my camera on my tripod and I'm ready to go. And I can adjust the height so you can be at eye level with with the with the people that are that are viewing from wherever you're viewing, so in other words, and that's one of the things you always want to keep in mind, is you want to keep the, the video device that you're recording from at about eye level from where the subject is. So that's what a tripod allows you to do. So here's, just to give you a few ideas of available. Here's one of them, here's one of the tripods, it's called the snap mount, and you can see, you can screw the bottom here, I'll show you, this is the, this is a tripod right here. So this is kind of an inexpensive tripod. It's maybe 20 bucks. It, it goes, I think it goes as high as 50 inches. This is not the main tripod that I use. But here's one type of adapter to attach the iPhone to a tripod. So this is a tripod mount for your iPhone. So basically what, what happens here, this is the foot for the uh, for the for the tripod, and you can see there's a little screw right there. right there. So the screw just screws right into the bottom of this, and that's what holds your, your iPhone right here, is where your iPhone's held. So basically this goes on here, and then you have the ability to swivel you know, your iPhone and take pictures however you want, or videos. And the same thing, this is really the same principle. The only difference is that this there's only two there's, there's two attachment points for this one. It's on the bottom there, so you can put it, you can actually angle your iPhone this way, or you can attach it this way and angle it that way. The one that I really like, that's really simple, is called the Glyph. The one that I'm using right now that I have attached to my to my tripod. So there's, there's three different formats. The thing I like about this one is that you can use this with a 3GS, a 4G, you can actually bend these arms to make it so that it can morph and fit the iPhone that you have, whatever type it is. I know I'm planning on getting the iPhone 5 when it comes out because I'm sure if they make an upgrade like they did when they went from the 3GS to the 4, in terms of the video quality, I'm definitely getting one. Like I'm gonna be waiting in line with everybody else, I'm sure. So, but the cool thing is, is about, about this one is that you can morph this, you can shape it, mold it to fit whatever iPhone you have. So I'm ready to shoot videos the first day I get that iPhone 5 with this, with this particular mount right here. This one is just made for the iPhone 4, but it is very sturdy and you feel, it does feel very secure when the iPhone snaps inside of here. I like that. The Glyph, the same thing. You're not gonna, it, you can't morph it or shape it. If, if the iPhone 5 comes out and it's thinner, you're not gonna be able to use the Glyph, but it's, it sure is very simple and it's a very ergonomic design. Anyway, I hope you found this, this video useful. Please text your name and email to 561-739-2283 to get more useful information like this. Again, that's 561-739-2283 and let me know if you have any questions. 
Uh, please subscribe to my channel and comment on this video. Thanks. Bye-bye.